So I look at NASA's human spaceflight endeavors into deep space as not so much about destinations, whether it's Mars or the moon. What drives me and I think is important is about how do we as a species learn to live off the planet for longer and longer and of course go to exciting places like Mars. It's more about the journey than the destination. By the mid-2030s, I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. Lunar exploration plays a key aspect into our overall sending humans into deep space. The moon is our nearest neighbor. It's rich in resources, namely water. Water and water ice are the fuel for rockets. The moon could be literally a lunar gas station. The moon plays an incredible role in any kind of future exploration endeavors. It is our test case of how we actually learn to live off the land. This experiment would show the moon an ideal base for future astronomical observations. But think about it as the dry dock of the future, and you don't need to refuel it to keep it there. As a staging point, the moon is a very interesting body for us to actually build our spaceships that will send us out into Mars. Being able to be a multi-planetary species in the long term is really our goal. And how do we extend those capabilities to live off the planet and go to faraway places? 13 Houston, we'd like you to open circuit fuel cell one. Mars is kind of the furthest most point where we believe our technology can reach within the next couple of decades. Okay, I'll get to work on that. Roger. So it's that hardest point out there. Whether it's keeping the crews alive in a habitat, the propulsion systems to get you there and back, or the fiery kind of injury descent and landing out of the surface of Mars, or that entire return trip all the way back. All those things are challenging aspects of it, but Mars, it's just hard enough where we might have a chance of actually doing it.